This is a fertilized human egg cell. It quickly divides into two cells, which continue to divide, eventually forming a baby made up of millions of cells. In order to grow, an organism's cells must multiply. These are skin cells. It's the same for plants. For this root to grow, its cells must be multiplying over and over again. They're reproducing themselves by a process known as mitosis. Mitosis produces new cells, which are identical to each other. To understand what's happening when a cell divides in this way, we need to take a look inside the nucleus. The nucleus of every living cell contains chromosomes. These thread-like structures are made of DNA and contain all the information necessary for the cell to survive. This is what they look like in real life. When a cell's about to divide, the chromosomes become shorter and fatter. They line up along the center, before separating to opposite ends of the cell. A human cell normally has 46 chromosomes, but to make it easier to follow the process, imagine a cell with just three. Before a cell divides, each chromosome has to make an identical copy of itself. The twin-armed chromosomes then line up along the center. Invisible cell fibers pull them apart. Membranes form around the two sets of chromosomes, forming the nuclei and cell membrane of the two new cells. Mitosis is a very organized process, making sure that the new cells are identical to each other and identical to the original. This whole process has been speeded up many times. It usually happens over a few hours. This type of cell division is how all animals and plants grow. These are the cells in an onion root tip. They've been stained with a dye which helps show up the chromosomes. You can see how they're all at slightly different stages of mitosis.